YouTube, Renegade, what's up? I said Renegade Auto 3 Garage. I'm ready to do videos for the ATV. Uh, like I said, working on my truck and the Mercedes is down temporarily. But we are working on a turbo truck. Uh, we have to purchase something and that is going to be a transmission jack. Uh, yesterday I was in making at a uh, Hopper Freight to get a transmission jack, a particular one, but they didn't have it. They had a transmission jack, but I didn't really want that one. I said, so I'm going to wait. Uh, now I'm in uh, a Hopper Freight that's closer to me now, uh, down the road and all, and for the check, see if they got this jack. If not, then we're going to have to see what options we want to go to because we want to drop that 460 and uh, just go from there. So hope you all enjoyed this video. I don't even know where this video going to uh, take. I might be having this like sitting. I might drop drop it at night or tomorrow or Sunday. So I've been dropping like crazy. So just be on alert on me uh, dropping. Make sure to put y'all uh, post notification bell on. And uh, let's build let's, let's build some cars. Let's fix some some cars, and you can do it yourself. So if I can do it, and but if I have to keep trying again, I'm gonna keep trying again. I ain't gonna give up uh, until everything is like 100. percent So I see y'all. So we got these two transmission jacks they have on the floor right here. They go for 229, but it's not the particular one I'm looking for. It's much smaller. Um so So guys we got it. They had it in the back, they didn't have it on display. We're just gonna pop her in. So guys, we have our transmission jack. The weight limit on that bad boy is 450 uh pounds. Um, we had got it for $168, uh, being that, uh, I had got a one year, uh, warranty just in case, um, even though I know nothing ain't going to break, but you never know with the Harbor Freight, uh, tools, but I never had issues with Harbor Freight tools before. I never really had an uh, uh, issue with it. I had issues with like AutoZone tools and all them other parts stores of the stuff breaking and stuff. So I don't know. They got, they got some you know some good bit of quality i'm not gonna lie but anyway the 4l60e uh weighs uh around 168 pounds without trans fluid and the one that i'm putting in now which is the 4l80e is going to be around 268 pounds and i'm gonna say around 275 too with that uh torque converter because i'm torque converters heavy but i didn't even get the torque converter yet because i'm still searching on which one I should uh, get. I might put the original one on there because I think it's the stall is around like 21 to 2300 RPM, if I ain't mistaken. So I think that might be good enough. Um, I'm really not sure. Still doing research on that. Um, but yeah. So I see y'all. So YouTube, as y'all can see, I have the jack right here. Only thing we have to do is just put these wheels on right here and that will be it. As you can see, we have the strap, uh, which you can uh, wrap around a transmission uh, to hold it in place so it don't, I guess, slide. Um, and we also have what we can put, I think a 3 8 or so a half inch drive a uh, socket or something on here to crank it up or down. And guys, these are the wheels right here. We got four of them in total, of course. So I guess I'm gonna just slap them on real quick. Call it a day. Guys, we got mobility right here. We got mobility, as y'all can see. We got mobility. Oh yeah, I just finger tight uh tighten these up. We just need to um get like a um deep socket, screw uh screw it right down. But I'm probably gonna see if I can find like a half inch or I think it's a three eighths uh drive to see if I can crank her up and I'm gonna talk to y'all afterwards. So guys, I do have a three eighths going into a half inch right here. So guys, I have it up. Use the three eighths to a half inch. I'm gonna just bring it down. Yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, 
y'all see that. I'm not gonna use a drill. If I use a drill, it would bring it up fast, but if I use a drill, it's gonna drop it down uh, quick. So I'm gonna just use this uh, motion right here. But this is gonna be pretty dope, guys. So we can drop the uh, 4L60 and then uh, put in our 4L80. So anyway, uh, not bad for this setup right here. I could have went with uh, a much bigger one, but why not keep things simple? Just keep things simple. Um, if it work, it's work. You don't have to go overboard on majority of the things. So, yeah. So, guys, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Went to Harbor Freight. Got some quality tools. We got something simple. Um, earlier, them two gray jacks that I was uh, showing, it was that was unnecessary getting that. So, we're going to see how this one um, go. The reason why I got it because it had got good reviews. So I'm gonna test try it. Uh, like I said, uh, it's a 450 pound weight limit. Um, that 480 is around 270. Um, that 460 is probably like around 180 ish, uh, you know, um, or 176. But you know, add a torque converter and all that. Yeah, I said 180 ish and all that. So it's gonna be pretty uh, fun, and we're gonna see how this process go. I want to work on it tonight, but I can't because uh, the rain. I can work under my carport and all that. I can do other things like under the engine bay and all that, but trying to lay on the ground and stuff, no, that's a no-go. Like I'm not trying to get no muddy dirt on me and all that, unless I'm on a four wheeler or something, that'd be a different story. But um, yeah, I just don't want to work underneath while it's raining. Uh, I have tarps, uh, one of them getting wet right now. And if, even if I had got like a new fresh set, it would have just got wet up anyway, regardless. So I just want to work in like a dry uh, condition. Uh, and I believe even if I had, you know, put concrete, it was the water, the way, um, I guess the landscape is where the water just come down towards hill. Um, it's just going to wet up the spot anyway and all that. So it's, this is like temporary, uh, like a, a little garage setup temporarily. Um, um, hopefully sometime I can actually like get uh, some place with a garage or something. I know I've been uh, recently looking, um, but I'm just uh, content on what I have and uh, going to work with. So whatever we need to do to get that 460 out, um, we going to do it. Uh, we're just going to do everything in dry condition and all that. Um, so I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, and I appreciate it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I can talk for days if I really want to. Sometimes I don't be talking like that. Sometimes you don't need to be talking a lot sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But I hope that helped y'all to install a um, transmission uh, jack. <laughs> uh, any tips or anything, y'all let me know. Y'all have a good one. See y'all. Peace. Finna chill real quick. Make some uh, videos and all that like I always be doing. Posting, going, posting, going, and, you know, just chilling. So, I see y'all.